Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to be doing a 70s inspired makeup and hair look for you guys, perfect for festival season. I've actually teamed up with the Age of Adeline film to bring you guys a decade inspired look reminiscent of the styles portrayed in the movie. Blake Lively plays Adeline Bowman, who miraculously stops aging at the age of 29 and finally finds her true love over a century later. So I'm really excited to bring you guys the 70s look and I hope you guys enjoy it. So why don't we just get started with the tutorial. So I'm starting out with my foundation. I'm just going to be using a buffer brush to apply it. You can use any foundation of your choice for this look as long as it evens out your complexion. And then after I apply that, I'm going to go in with my normal concealer, which is just a light concealer. It's about two shades lighter than my actual skin tone, just to lighten and brighten the areas that I'd like. So once I'm done with the face, I'm going to move on to the brows. I'm going to comb them out first just to get rid of any product that might have gotten onto them. And then I'm going to be using a brow powder to lightly fill in the brows. And then after that, I'm going to blend out the concealer that I applied because I wanted to leave it on and let it sit for a bit so that it can warm up with my skin so that it's a lot easier to blend out. So now this is optional, you don't have to really contour if you don't want to, just some light bronzer will do. But I like to contour my cheeks and I feel like it also goes with this look. So I'm going to just contour lightly and um, just I'm just applying it to all the areas that I want to give off a nice kind of like tan, you know, look. So I'm doing along my jawline, nose, cheekbones, and then also along my forehead. Then I'm just going to take a big fluffy contour brush and I'm going to blend all of that out. And as you can see, it kind of is like a two-in-one. It's not only going to slim my face, but it's also going to give me a little bit of color because, you know, in the 70s, they loved tanning and bronzing, so I want to make sure I incorporate that. And then for blush, I'm using this pretty orange coral blush that I think is perfect because all of the pictures I've seen are from the 1970s. There's a really nice coral trend going on as far as the blush goes and the lipstick, so I want to keep that um, incorporated in there. And then I'm just going to go over the blush with a golden toned highlight because I feel like that goes with the sun-kissed look really well. Now for the eyes, which is my favorite part, I'm going to start by putting in a medium shade of matte brown eyeshadow into my crease and I'm just going to line it in there. It's almost like a cut crease look, but it's going to be a lot more blended and not so harsh. So I'm going to add that into the crease area. Then I'm going to be taking this matte taupe brown color and I'm going to be applying it onto my lids. Next, I'm going to take an orange-based eyeshadow and I'm just going to go over the crease area with it just to kind of smoke out, blend out the look a bit. I'm just going to take that eyeshadow that I used for the crease area and I'm just going to use it to line my lower lash line. Next I'm going to take the golden toned highlighter that I used for my cheekbones and I'm just going to apply it into the inner corner. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and prepare for a mascara application. 
I'm going to be using a lengthening mascara just to give off a really natural look with the lashes and I'm going to be applying a thin coat to my top and bottom lashes and then I'm going to also be applying some falsies but I'm going to be using these demi falsies um, which are like halves and I'm just going to apply them to the edge of my eyes just to kind of flare out my lashes a little bit but keep the look natural. Next, I'm just going to curl the lashes together so it looks a lot more natural. So now I'm going to be applying this pretty coral colored lip gloss. It's kind of a moderate coverage so it's not too intense and I'm just going to apply it to my lips because like I said the 70s hippie look kind of had a really pretty kind of orange tone to the makeup so I wanted to make sure I incorporated that in this look. And now the makeup look is complete. So now on to the hair look, which is going to be very bohemian, hippie chic with a pretty um, floral headband to top it off. So I'm going to be using this waver, and it's really, really awesome because it really just waves your hair super quickly. And I'm just going through my hair with it um, to create this really pretty kind of voluminous bohemian hair. So there is my finished look for you guys and don't forget to check out The Age of Adeline which is in theaters April 24th. And now I'm going to be tagging Karis from Christmas Star to create an 80s inspired look so don't forget to check that out.